Hi, this is T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities. Zabila Culhane behind the camera. Today we're going to take our kitchen garbage and we're going to use our new incinerator to prepare it for the biogas system on our porch. You'll notice when you look at our kitchen garbage system that we have four different places. One is for plastic, one is for glass and metal tops. One is for all the food waste that's going to go in the biogas. We don't use compost anymore, except for paper towels and tea bags, those still go in the compost bin. So the biogas system actually replaces 90%, 95% of what used to go in the compost bin. This stuff here, the food waste, is going into the biogas. Because in Germany, incinerators or waste disposal units are so expensive, so hard to come by, we bought one from the United States. That meant we also had to buy a large transformer that handles 2,000 watts. Uh, so we can use American current. So this is our transformer. I'll turn on the incinerator here and turn on some water and start to pour the stuff in. So this is what happens to our kitchen waste. Even moldy cheese goes in there. Everything that's organic can go in. old vegetables, bread. Anything you have left over, even the old bread, the eggshells, they all go in. Banana peels, old flour, all the scrapings, old leftovers from soup. Literally everything goes in. And that's kind of full. Turn that off and turn this off. And then we take the uh, take the bucket. As you can see, this biogas digester is almost full. This took several days, though, because it's been very, very cloudy and cold, and the bacteria don't like cold weather. So we just pour the food waste right in here. And you can see what happens as we pour the waste in, it fills up here, and then what comes out the other side is this really good fertilizer. This is probably the best fertilizer that money can buy, but we didn't have to pay any money for it. It's very, very, very rich fertilizer. And that fertilizer, a second here, so we'll just leave that like that. This fertilizer works great on the plants. And if we come over here, you can see that the reason we're getting really good results with our rooftop garden is because of the biogas fertilizer that we produce. So it's great for the berries, the raspberries. Now, what we're doing here in Cairo, um, in Germany, is we're using this solar heater to heat up the biogas system when there's sunshine because of these cold days. It's been very cold this summer. But this is going to give us approximately 20 to 25, maybe a half an hour uh, of, of gas for cooking. So for Solar Cities, I'm T.H. Culhane, Zabila Culhane behind the camera. Thank you.